so welcome to my channel so now we'll do exercise 1.2 okay so here we go exercise 1.2 okay uh, chapter 1 so in question 1 okay what is the question is asking express each numbers number as a product of its prime factor okay so as we all know every composite number can be expressed as the product of primes according to fundamental theorem of arithmetic we already have done in lecture sessions so we'll do one by one okay number one question express each number as a product of its prime factors okay so what the question is asking so let understand and do it one by one okay so what the question is asking to we have to express okay solution we have to express this 140 as a product of primes okay so doing factorizing okay in you can do in main part also okay you can solve here itself this will include mask marks okay so it can be done by we can solve by 2 or 7 also okay 2 7 0 2 30 5 it can go by 5 5 7 35 okay it can be written as 2 into 2 into 5 into 7 okay so this is the first question okay uh, the question is asking to express 140 in terms of product of primes okay in terms of uh, prime factors okay this is the prime factors 2 is a prime number so it is a prime factor the meaning is not different prime prime factor or prime number same okay so 5 is also a prime number 7 is also prime number is a prime number and prime number okay. this much only the question is asking this much only and number 2 question i'll do it fast little fast so 156 okay number two question number two question 156 okay solution we need to express 156 as a product of primes so we will do so it will be by 2 2 7 14 2 8 16 2 7 14 1 will carry 16 2 8 16 okay 2 3 6 7 means 1 18 18 remaining 2 9 18 now it will be 2 will not go i think 3 will go 3 1 the 3 3 3 9 okay 156 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3 into 13 this is very simple simple solution okay simple question it will not be asked in board exam so but you must practice okay you must practice this also in order to clarify our concepts 3825 now the number is little larger so no problem 3825 can be written as okay 3825 so I think it will be by 5 it will go by 5 because there is a 5 then there is a multiple of 5 okay by guessing 5 5 will not go I think 5 7 35 36 37 38 3 32 5 6 30 2 5 5 5 25 and cross check 5 5 25 5 2 5 6 30 31 32 2 3 remaining 5 7 35 36 37 38 is correct okay again by 5 we can factorize it by 5 again don't do not do at the end okay you must always target at the first not the last okay 5 1 5 5 3 15 5 1 5 6 7 no no sorry sorry 5 1 5 6 7 2 remaining 5 5 25 5 3 15 okay so 153 what would be the number i think it will be 
is this a factor of 3 3 is a factor of 153 i think so 5 3 15 5 1 5 5 1 5 5 3 15 3 so it is the last one okay now it can be written as 5 into 5 into 3 into 31 okay. so this also can be expressed uh, in such a way 4 4 number 4 number 4 what is the case so 5005 zero, zero, 5005 zero, zero, five. Five, zero, zero, 5 it can be written as so as factorize 5005 zero, zero, five. so there may be many steps okay someone might do in a box putting the number in box and doing like this it can be anything but the answer will be the same it will not change away okay? but things is only that you you should have a concept of what are you doing okay now i think what is the number here is one i think this uh, if the 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 factor will be no there will be no the factor will be not 2 not 10 not 5 okay the factor might be 7 3 something okay i'll try with 3 3 3 9 10 39 no 7 1 7 8 9 10 3 37 yeah it will it is a factor of 7 7 1 7 8 9 10 3 remaining 37 4 the 7 4 equal to 28 28 8 9 10 11 31 i think 1 sorry sorry 7 1 7 30 28 29 30 2 1 7 3 21 oh, i think it, this is the last term i think 5 into 7 into 143 is it divisible or there is any factor I think 13, 11, 3, 1, 3, 1. Oh, it is of 11 into 13. Sorry, sorry, 11 into 13. 13. There is more factor, okay? This is the answer. So, last one, number 5, 7, 4, 2, 9. 7, 4, 2, 9, last number of exercise 1.2 of question 1 7 4 minus 7 4 2 9 this is 19 Nine 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 eighty one one eight nine one nine seventeen means uh, it will go with three nine one. Three nine one. So three nine one is again by thirteen. Six seven eight nine three. Not by thirteen, it will be by uh, 
Let's try with 17. So this is the larger number, okay. So it is a bit difficult to know how to do this. So you need lot of lot of lots of practice, okay. So without practice, it is quite difficult. So with practice, you can predict what will be the number, okay. In this way, you can solve this exercise also, okay. So next question. So we move on. Question 2. Find the LCM and HCA for the following pair of integers and verify LCM and product of two numbers. Okay. And we need to verify the relationships also. Okay. So number 1 I'll try. Number 1. So the given numbers are 26 and 91. Okay. In this can be A, it is B, okay. This can be A, this can be B. So, no need to assume. So, we need only the answer, okay. So, 26, 91. So, we need to factorize each. So, 91. It will be by 7. 7, one, seven, seven three. means 7 into 13 into 1. Okay. So we will do like this. What is the LCM? So first I will find HCF is 13 into 1 equals to 13. Highest common factor in two numbers, common is only 13. Okay, here 13 in 1 so 13 into 1 13 in 2 number 13 is the highest common factor okay so lcm lowest common multiple how to find we will take this number in terms of this we will take only one number into 1 into 7 so this will be the your 7 into 2 14 we can do like this also 7 into 2 14 13 into 1 13 okay 14 into 13 what will be 3 4 2 3 1 3 4 4 1 2 8 1 8 2 will be 1 8 2 LCM will be 1 8 2 so we need to verify the relationship between uh, LCM into HCF and product of two numbers okay so this will be the solution now verification okay second part verification we need to verify lcm into hcf hcf can be here or lcm can be here there is no the place can be wherever there is no difference okay we can write in front or back it doesn't matter okay product of two number product of product means multiplication of two numbers okay so we'll prove left hand side left hand side means left hand side your left hand side okay your right hand side your this is your right hand so this is right hand side so left hand side what is the so LCM was 13 into 182, okay. So LCM was 182 and HCF was 13. So when we multiply this, what will be the answer? 182 into 13, 326, 42, 313, 5. 
थ्री टू टू थ्री सिक्स सिक्स ओके लेफ्ट हैंड साइड नाउ चेक राइट हैंड साइड प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू नंबर द टू नंबर्स आर वॉट आर द टू नंबर्स प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू नंबर्स ओके प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू नंबर्स वॉट आर द टू नंबर्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड नाइन्टी वन प्रोडक्ट मीन्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन नाइन्टी वन लेट्स चेक नाइन सिक्स नाइन सिक्स फिफ्टी फोर फोर फाइव नाइन टू एटीन टू सॉरी फाइव नाइन सिक्स फोर फाइव Six six two three two. So what will be the multiplication? Two three six six. Okay. So since LHS equals to RHS, hence verified. Okay. Number one question verification. It's almost done. So in number two, what we need to find? Same. Number two. Let us continue. Given number two question, five one zero and ninety two. Okay. So here are two numbers. So five one ten solution and nine two. Okay. We will factorize separately. It will be by five. Five one five and never write five to ten because five into twelve only sixty. So your maximum most of the student do the this mistake. Okay, so you need to five one five then one. Okay, why this happens means when I divide, see here. I here is five here is five then I will try this five one five. It will be zero. Only one will drop in the divide. Okay, process. Only one. Five will go one by zero times five into zero zero. Only then only the zero will come down. Okay, so five to ten. This is the accurate method. Okay, this is the correct method to divide. So keep in mind. So it will be two five ten no problem five one five three one three three seven two one. So I can write this five into two into three into seventeen. Okay. So what about ninety two? In similar manner, I will factorize. So three will not go two two four eight two six twelve two two four two three six two four eight. Two, 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 four. Yeah, this is the final answer. Two into two into twenty-three. So there is only one common. So H C F will be only two. There is no other common factor here. So L C M will be five into two into three into seventeen into two into twenty-three. Okay, I'll uh, multiply whole. What will be the L C M? Okay. So you can do by parts. You can multiply these, and you can multiply these in such a way. You can do like this. You will multiply this and this, and you will keep in this and this. Okay, in this manner. Five into two, ten. Ten into three, thirty. Thirty into two, sixty. Sixty into seventeen into twenty-three. Do you can do any any in any sense? Okay, so no problem. You must know the. We okay. Steps seven three twenty one seven two fourteen fifteen sixteen one three three two one nine three three nine one into sixty. Okay, I'll multiply with sixty zero zero six one six six 
सिक्स नाइन सिक्स नाइन फिफ्टी फोर टू थ्री टू थ्री फोर सिक्स जीरो टू थ्री फोर सिक्स जीरो इसका एल सी एम हो गए सो हेयर आर एल सी एफ एंड एल सी एम नाउ वी नीड टू वेरीफाई ओके सो वील डू वेरीफिकेशन नो वेरीफिकेशन पार्ट वेरीफिकेशन सो एल सी एम इन टू एच सी एफ विल बी इक्वल टू प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू नंबर्स ओके सो लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एल सी एम इन टू एच सी एफ सो वाट इज दर एल सी एम टू थ्री फोर सिक्स जीरो इंटू एच सी एफ इज टू सो वेन आई इन मल्टीप्लाई दिस टू टू जीरो टू टू सिक्स ट्वेल्व टू वन टू फोर एट नाइन टू थ्री सिक्स टू टू फोर सो नाउ आई नीड टू प्रूफ राइट एंड साइड ओके द टू नंबर्स आर फाइव टेन इन नाइन्टी टू सो आर एच एस प्रोडक्ट ऑफ ऑफ टू नंबर्स ओके टू नंबर्स आर फाइव टेन इंटू नाइन्टी टू सो वेन आई मल्टीप्लाई दिस टू नंबर एंड आई विल गेट द एंसर एंड I need to verify it. Ninety two two zero zero two one two two five ten nine zero zero nine one nine nine five forty five zero two nine six four. So what is the answer? Four six nine two zero. Since LHS, this is the sign of since. Okay, LHS equals to RHS. Hence. verified this is a simple method so our last is three two numbers number 3 okay number 3 so copy all three three six and 54 three three six and Fifty four. Okay. In similar manner, you can try, or you can go along with me. Okay. So I'll do three three six. Let me check. Is the correct question three three six and fifty four? Yeah. It will be the factor. I think it will be go by three. It will be divisible by three. Three one three 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 two. Three two six three one three. No problem. I think it will be two. Two five ten two six twelve. Two two four two eight sixteen. Two two four two into seven. Okay, I can write this three into two into two into three into two into two into one two three four. Two into two into seven. Okay. Into seven. So what about fifty four? Two. Two two four two seven. So I can write this as two into three into three into three. Yeah. What is the common? I can take this common. Where I can take this and this only. There is no other common factor. Okay, so I'll find HCF three into two because common. What I am actually taking is the common factor. Okay, highest common factor, the common. I am taking common. That only. No? This is not a bandage type. Three into two, six. Okay, so HCF is six highest common factor. Both the number is having is six. L C M lowest common multiple. Both the number is going to multiply. Okay, what is the lowest value? So I'll write.
for this three i'll write single three for this two i'll write single two into how many other i'll write okay rewrite into two into two into seven into three into three so i'll do by parts i'll do this much i'll do this much okay i cannot do at a time so i can take like this okay three into two six six into two twelve twelve into two twenty four three into two six six into two twelve twelve into twenty four into two into seven three into three nine nine into seven nine into seven sixty three into two two three six two six twelve one twenty six i can multiply both now one twenty six twenty four four two 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 four two eight nine ten zero one four one four five two six twelve one two two four five two one two four two three three zero two four is the LCM okay so now we need to verification verify so one thing I want to tell this video is for those students who are Who are trying to learn mathematics okay who cannot who has that passion on learning mathematics or uh, those who are studying in government school okay so what happens I know the fact what happens in the government school so I, I have been from government school my elementary school was in government school and my entire so I know the problem okay so most of the students are facing some shortage of teachers so for that student I'm preparing this video okay so let con let us continue so verification verification so LCM into HCF equal to product of of two two numbers okay so left hand side i'll take left hand side left hand side equals to lcm is three zero two four and hcf is six six four four six two six to twelve four one so okay so what will be the right hand side RHS product of of two numbers okay and remember when there is a equation okay you must always put this implies that sign okay here we you can write or or you 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 can write or you yes your wish okay you may write or you may not so I'll write left hand side product of two numbers okay product is three three six num one number is three three six into five four okay i'll multiply side fifty four one remaining so five six thirty three remaining one remaining Means sixteen. Four, four, one, one. So what is my answer? One eight one four four. Okay. So since LHS equals to RHS, since LHS equals to RHS, hence verified. Okay. So in this way, you can practice other exercise and. So next question is number three here, here. So find the LCM and HCF of the following integer by applying prime factorization method. Okay. So similar way here are three numbers. Okay. 
so in two numbers no problem and three numbers also no problem i already told that lcm and hcf are okay are find of two or more than two numbers so okay? we can find single we can't okay so so i'll this number three i'll do one by one so follow me okay and 21 so by prime factorization method okay? prime factorization method means to factorize 2 6 12 2 3 okay 3 1 3 this is this method is known as prime factorization okay or factorization method okay uh, i need to split 12 as yes, a or write 12 in the terms of its factor okay these are the factors means multiple so 15 and 21 okay so what about 15 3 into 5 5 into 1 so i can write 3 into 5 into 1 and what about 21 3 into 7 7 into 1 so 3 into 7 into 1 okay what is common here this is the common and here 1 is the common okay so HCF highest common factor will be here what is the common in 3 only 3 and 1 okay 3 into 1 means 3 so what is the LCM LCM will be the same concept will be used 2 into 2 into 3 for this 3 we will write single 3 into 1 remaining 2 numbers okay into 5 into 7 if we do this then we will find the LCM 2 into 3 2 to 4 4 3 12 12 into 5 60 into 7 7 0 0 7 6 42 okay lcm is 42 4 to 0 so number 1 finished number 2 number 2 so in number 2 what is the question 17 comma 23 and 19 and 19 we need to find the lcm of these numbers okay so when we do factorize 17 solution 17 23 19 so 17 23 and 19 it is very easy it has it is a comp prime number so it has no common factor other than 1 as you all know so i can write 17 into 1 23 into 1 19 into 1 okay why i need to write 1 because while writing hcf there is no other common factor than 1 then the lcm will be sorry hcf will be 1 okay lcm will be the product of three numbers 17 into 1 into 23 into i'll write 1 single only okay, in place of 3 1 so into 19 okay. 17 into 23 into 19 so multiply in side 17 into 23 what will be the 27 14 4 1 10 1 9 3 so i'll multiply with 19 9199 9, 9, 81 8 9 27 35 okay. because 1 9 3 9 2 4 7 7 4 2 9 will be your lcm okay so done with this number next number 3 this easy quite easy 
if you understand then it will be simple but the board will ask little tough question okay? this question will not be coming in n term so you need to solve this and try to solve another okay i'll tell you i'll teach you through basics okay so that everyone can understand so i'll fa factorize it 2 4 2 2 okay 2 into 2 into 2 into i can write 1 so 9 3 into 3 3 1 i can write 3 into 3 into 1 okay so what about 25 5 into 5 5 1 5 means 5 into 5 into 1 here there is no common factor see here is 2 here is 3 where is 5 there is no common factor except 1 okay so at c f will be 1 a okay, simple one what about lcm lcm will be 2 into 2 into 2 into 1 into 3 so copy all this 3 into 3 into 5 into 5 okay so 2 to 2 8 plus 1 into 3 3 9 into sorry so sorry no plus into 25 okay. 8 9 56 into 25 9 8 no not 56 it is 72 so 72 into 25 one remaining 36 one eight double zero is here okay so done with this number we'll proceed to next number four okay what is the question done everything so in next number given that at cf are given okay so uh, number four here it is given okay at cf of two number three zero 6 comma 6 5 7 is 9 okay we need to find the lcm lcm of 306 comma 657 okay here what are given okay so here are two numbers okay this and this you can say a equals to also so it is hidden in the bracket okay here is two numbers two integers 306 and B is 657 so we know okay we know the one formula from that we can calculate okay in quickly we know that LCM into HCF equals to a into b i mean to say product of two numbers okay i have a and b i have notified so what is the lcm 9 into h c f will be a into b 306 into 657 okay so what will be the h c f here is multiplication when 9 i need h c f i will keep h c f here itself so it will go down and divide okay it will divide so 306 into 657 divided by 9 so i'll cut here is into multiplication so no problem 339 313 300 326 327 okay 102 into 219 if we multiply 2 then we will get the answer okay 219 into 102 2918 81 212 3224 000 this is 0 so 912 if we add up 8 3 13 2 2 
it will be 2, 2, 3, 3, 8. Okay, HCF will be 2, 2, 3, 3, 8. Okay, so question 7, sorry, question 5. Check whether 6n can in with digit 0 or for any natural number n. Okay, so next question number 5. I need to show or prove. Six n, six n is a number. Okay, no need to think as it is a big number. Okay, it is not complicated. This is just a number. Okay, so we what what is the meaning of this? We'll see like this six to the power one, six to the power two, six to the power three means this is certain number. Six to the power means six six into one six. So six into six thirty six. This means 36, this means 6 into 6 into 6 means 36 into 6, 216, okay, this is the number only, okay, Not nothing to worry, no need to worry that this is a simple number only, okay, simple number, it is in the form of like this, okay, so most of the people or the students, they think this is hard, okay. So, no need to worry, okay, 6n, okay, 6n can have a value of, when I put 6n equals to 1, okay, because n is an integer, okay, n is an integer, integer means, sorry, n is a natural number, okay, n is a natural number, so n can have value, n equals to 1, when n equals to 1, it will be like this, okay, so I'll, 6n 6 square when n equals to n equals to 2 okay, 6 n square means 36 okay 6 n can have value of 6 3 I'll put n equals to 3 okay n equals to 3 means this cube means I'll I have to multiply 6 3 times this means I have to multiply 6 by into 2 times, okay, this is the usual meaning, okay, it goes on, okay, 6, 6, 36 into 6, okay, I will do multiply this, then I will do this, 6, 6, 36, 6, remaining 3, 6, 3, 18, 19, 20, 21, means 2, 1, 6, okay. So, these are the values of 6n, okay, when if n is a natural number, okay, these are the values, okay. What I see, see, this means 6, here the ending digit is not 0, okay, see, this is 6, this ending digit is 6 and ending digit is 6, okay, unit place digit is 6, not 0, okay, I need to prove this, okay, now it is already proven, okay, so uh, we need to write necessary words, then it will be verified, okay, this, this is for the, for understanding only, okay, uh, you, you can write in your copy okay as a supplementary okay you note this one and i'll do the rest part okay so solution okay question five solution okay. so if the number okay if the number if the number if the number 6n 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 for any natural number number n okay for any natural number on ints ints with digit 0 if okay if 6n ends with digit 0 then what should be the number okay i'll take 4 5 uh, example okay 10 20 50 any take 100 okay this these digits in this ends with digit 0 okay this number ends with digit 0 so what i see the factor of 5 what are the factor of 10 it will be multi completely divisible by 1 2 and 5, 5, 2 into 10, 5 also is the factor of 10 and and 10 itself, okay. So, what I commonly see, 
the factor should be here 1 2 2 5 10 5 10 20 okay these are the factors okay what i see that to end with digit 0 it must be a factor of 5 okay so ends with digit 0 5 must be be the be the factor factor pi must be the factor okay of 6n but what we see the factor of 6r what are the factor of 6 it is multiplied divisible by 1 and 2 into 3 3 and 6 itself okay here is no 5 okay so the factor of 6 are 9 okay therefore since since 6 n has no factor no 5 as a factor therefore 6 n cannot ends with digit 0 okay if 5 is a common or factor of something then obviously the digit will end with digit 0 okay the number will end with digit 0 in this way this is the main answer okay you can write <coughs> this much only you need to understand so we will move on to question 6 so according to question what the question is asking there are certain numbers okay so there are two numbers i have already written here so 7 into 11 into 13 plus 13 okay there are two number this number and here, here is another number okay 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 plus 1 remember there here are multiplication okay up to here, here multiplication up to your multiplication only then addition okay so you need to so that okay uh, you can do by multiplying okay using both marks okay using both marks and adding okay then you will factorize each or you can do in shortcut like this okay here, here are there is addition term okay here so we can take it as a common okay if we take common then it will be much simpler okay so if i take 13 out here see 13 out then what will be the remaining part uh, if i take out 13 then 7 into 11 will be here okay so plus i have taken 13 so remaining one so i can take as a common okay here is 13 common so i have taken then 7 into 11 77 okay using both marks according to both marks b o d m a s okay so multiplication then only addition okay after then only add addition okay here is bracket okay we must calculate it calculate first the bracket quantity bracket there is no of division also there is no so multiplication and addition okay so i am using word marks so now addition if we add then what will be the 77 plus 178 and we can multiply it by one because nothing will happen okay so nothing will change okay so i can write 13 into 78 into 1 so i can it is sufficient to prove that this number is what it is composite number because it has more than two factors it has three factors that is why this is a composite number as i have shown here so in similar manner here is see here are number and i will take here five as a common because it will be easy for us okay more convenient to do in this way okay? so when i take this common from here and here then remaining part i will write here okay here, here is one there is other term except five so when i take this common out it will be like this and i will do by parts okay multiplication first multiplication i will 7 6 42 okay five as a common 7 6 42 4 into 3 12 all multiplication into 2 1 2 okay plus 1 so i will do 42 here as it is i'll multiply this first okay you can do as your wish okay so 12 into 2 24 then i'll finally multiply these two then i'll get 108 because addition should be done at the last okay when i multiply then only i'll add okay so i can in similar manner i can write 
in multiply in multiply by one okay because why i can write this because there is no changes in the equation okay so it has more than two factors i mean it this number has three factors so uh, final answer will be since above number has more than two factors therefore it is composite number okay in simple way you can do like this okay uh, move on to next last of exercise 1.27 so there is a what problem okay there is a circular path around a sports field okay there is a circular just if you visualize in mathematics then it will be very very much easy okay uh, there is a circular track okay field okay there is a circular field mm. Sonia takes 18 minutes to drive one around the field okay there is a Sonia okay one girl I think girl Sonia takes how many minutes 18 minutes okay 18 minutes to drive one round okay Sonia will take 18 minutes to complete one track okay circular track so well Robbie takes 12 minutes okay Robbie will take how many minutes 12 minutes okay okay this Robbie will take 12 minutes okay Robbie will take 12 minutes okay this is Robbie Robbie will take 12 minutes so what the question is asking uh, Robbie will take 12 minutes for the same okay they will start from a starting point or say from here okay they will start sonia and ravi will together will start and they start running around the circle okay uh, the time taken by sonia is to 18 minutes and ravi is 12 minutes okay so this is suppose both they both started at the same point okay the condition is given that they started at the same point and the same time okay at the same time and goes in the same direction okay and they goes in the same direction this is the condition given in the question okay after how many times okay they will meet again at the starting point okay what happens see what happens when sonia and robbie start because the speed of robbie is okay greater than sonia okay what happens both will go okay both will go run then what happens slowly slowly Robby will overlap okay Robby will overlap Sonia then what happens then when Sonia completes one circle then Robby would I think maybe one and a half circle it you will complete okay so in this manner what I need to find is when okay okay what is the time okay they together will meet at the same time okay indirectly the question is asking to find the lcm okay lowest common multiple okay lowest common multiple because 18 is the time of sonia and 12 is the time of Robbie. okay so what happens this is the time of one complete circle for both i need to find together okay together means lowest common multiple okay lowest the value of lowest okay they can meet each other okay at the time okay there may be many times okay they are greater than this time greater than this time okay greater than this time greater than this time but i need the lowest value okay if they meet at i, I think uh, 36 minute then they can be can meet at 70 minutes also but i need lowest value okay where okay they meet together okay uh, the question is indirectly asking to find the lcm of two numbers okay so i'll do directly solution part okay um, 12 and 18 i need to find lcm i know the technique to find lcm 12 i'll factorize 2 6 2 3 3 1 okay 2 into 2 into 3 into 1 and 18 2 9 3 3 3 1 okay so 2 into 3 into 3 into 1 okay so i what i need to find i need to find lcm okay lowest common multiple the question is asking at what time they will meet uh, together okay because Robbie will 
when sonia comes at the end point okay at this point ravi will go i think here then when sonia in second time when sonia comes here the ravi will be here when sonia will come here then ravi will be here after some time okay when sonia will come in that round then both will meet at that point okay means i need to find the lcm okay lcm of two numbers so i'll pair it up there is two common okay i'll therefore lc since okay since since lc m equals to 2 into i know the technique 2 into 2 into 3 in case of 2 3 i'll take only 3 single 3 and 1 into 1 uh, you can write as it is or so mm, 3 into sorry 3 into 1 into 1 okay so 2 into 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay. 2 into 2 4 4 into 3 4 4 into 3 12 12 into 3 36 okay therefore okay therefore our hands therefore after after 36 minutes they will meet at starting starting point this is the last time okay so in next video or lecture we'll lecture i'll lecture on revisiting irrational and irrational numbers okay so it will be of one lecture okay it is little important at the point of examination of view okay so as far as the examination is concerned 